Burke's decision to leave this morning's session was prompted by the action taken by the President of the Senate, Chester Humphrey, to accept Senator Simon Steele's argument that his contribution was not relevant to the substantive bill before the House. And after several unsuccessful attempts by Senator Burke to convince the Senate President to accept his arguments, he was then told to take his seat. There is no issue of relevancy here. Hmm? If you determine, you say that you can't see what I'm saying. I can't make you see. Hmm? I can't make you see. So, Senator Burke, if, could if we de- move on? Could you move on with the... Well, Mr. President, I have nothing further because at this okay, point... in which case then, take your seat. Sir. Yes, thank you very much. I have nothing further. However, this did not go well with the senator as he proceeded to take his exit. Burke was quickly followed by farmer's representative in the Senate, Keith Clowden, and Senator Franca Alexis Bernadine. Meanwhile, Minister of State, Senator Winston Garway, scolded Senator Burke for staging yet another walkout from the Senate. This is inti- one of the highest institutions in the land. And you're supposed to represent people. Well, sorry. You all want to put it in, so you didn't have a seat ready. So I'm not sure who you're representing. But in any event, you're here. You should respect this institution and go through with the debate where you walk out. But Mr. President, that's the order of the day. It's not the first time. It's not the second time. And it will continue. Because he cannot really stand up to the facts. He cannot really stand up and face reality. He will continue to run. Who knows? It might be the last opportunity for him. The Hydrocarbon Exploration Incentive Bill, which was approved by the House of Representatives earlier this month, was passed in the Senate without amendments. Colin Campbell, GBN News.